A multifamily office is an independent organization that supports multiple families to manage their entire wealth. Multifamily offices typically provide a variety of services including tax and estate planning, risk management, objective financial counsel, trusteeship, lifestyle management, coordination of professionals, investment advice, and philanthropic foundation management. Some multifamily offices are also known to offer personal services such as managing household staff and making travel arrangements. Because the customized services offered by a multifamily office can be costly, clients of a multifamily office typically have a net worth in excess of $50 million. A multifamily office is a commercial enterprise established to meet the investment, estate planning and, in some cases, the lifestyle and tax service needs of affluent families. MFOs can be created in one of three ways, in the United States, many MFOs are registered investment advisors, some are trust companies and a handful are accounting or law firms. The family office concept has its roots back in the 6th century. Then a major domo was a person who would speak, make arrangements, or take charge for the affairs of the royal family and its wealth. Later in the 6th century, the upper nobility started to use these services of the major domo as well. Hence, the concept of administratorship was invented and has prevailed until today. The modern concept and understanding of family offices was developed in the 19th century. In 1838, the family of J.P. Morgan founded the House of Morgan, which managed the family's assets and in 1882, the Rockefellers founded their family office, which prevailed until today. Many family offices have started their business as so-called single-family offices, where the family owns the family office and serves only the owner family. Instead of covering the entire operative costs, many owners of single-family offices decided to offer its services to other families as well. This concept is called multifamily office or multi-client family office. Only a few multifamily offices have founded their business independently, without a large family backing it. In addition, the development of the multifamily office came as a result of the growing number of wealthy families, as well as the rapid developments in technology within the financial markets which required greater sophistication and skill in financial advisors in the 1980s and 1990s. The difficulty in attracting and retaining such talented employees became more difficult. These changes, combined with the consolidation of the financial services industry, significantly diminished the role of the bank trust departments that traditionally serve the wealthy families. These trends resulted in an increased need and cost for family office type services. To defray such costs many families open their family offices to non-family members, resulting in multi-family offices. MFOs tend to have the following characteristics, independence, MFOs typically do not sell and generally are not compensated for the products utilized by clients. MFOs usually follow a service delivery model holding themselves out as an objective provider of advice that places the interests of their clients first. Breadth and integration of services, MFOs provide a wide array of services and typically oversee their clients' entire financial universe. MFOs will have full information about their clients' investments, tax situation, estate plan and family dynamics. With this information the MFO can assist in structuring and administering the client's financial universe in an optimal fashion. Professionals with diverse skills and deep specialties, MFO professionals provide a wide array of advice and assistance to their clients. MFOs also have to be able to provide specialty knowledge on certain topics such as, income taxation, estate planning, and investments. High-touch services, MFOs have high average account sizes and low client-to-employee ratios. Large account sizes combined with low client-to-employee ratios allows a great deal of focus and attention on each client family. Meetings with clients often occur many times a year. Multi-generational planning, MFOs typically work with an entire family, the patriarch slash matriarch, their children and grandchildren. Planning encompasses the family's goals which typically includes passing wealth down to lower generations in a tax-efficient manner. Children and grandchildren are clients and are counseled on investments, taxes, estate planning, and philanthropy from an early age. MFOs often coordinate and moderate family meetings for their client families. Outsourcing, MFOs do not typically provide all services in-house. It is common for some of the investment management to be outsourced to independent money managers. Custody and tax return preparation are also commonly outsourced. Focus on taxable investor. Most MFOs have a myopic focus on taxable investors as the bulk of their clients' assets are subject to short and long-term capital gains. This is unique to very high net worth families. 
Most investment research is geared toward the institutional investor and foundations. The bulk of the research done for the individual investor relates to 401ks and IRAs. MFOs may have one or more of the following benefits, chart of family office services, the industry grew to $170 billion of assets under management in 2003, a 17% increase over the prior year, in 2004, the increase was 26.6%. Thanks for watching.